A very warm welcome back to Ligue 1 Conferama for this 2019-2020 season. We kick off our week one highlights at the Stade Louis Ter, where Leon striker Moussa Dembele powered in the season's first goal against Monaco. The host had had Cesc Fabregas sent off by the time Memphis Depay doubled Leon's lead on 36 minutes. New Monaco keeper Benjamin Leconte won't want to see this one again in a hurry. Luca Tuzar then applied the coup de grace 10 minutes from time as Leon rounded out a comfortable victory. Third last year, they have made a flying start to their new Brazilian era under sporting director Juninho and coach Silvino. A superb drive here from the France under-21 captain as it finished 3-0. Well, Paris Saint-Germain also grabbed a 3-0 win at the expense of Nîmes, but there was no Neymar in the squad for the champions amid speculation of a move back to Spain. In the Brazilian's absence, Edinson Cavani fired PSG ahead from the penalty spot after a Pablo Martinez handball. The club's record scorer moving on to 194 goals in all competitions. Kylian Mbappe got in on the act early in the second half, opening his account for the season. Top scorer with 33 goals in Ligue 1 Conferama last term. He's up to 21 league goals in 2019. Ankel Di Maria then came off the bench to add a third. The Argentine had already got the winner as PSG beat Ren to win the Champions Trophy last week. Nice and easy does the trick. Nicolas de Preville blasted Bordeaux into the lead with just four minutes on the clock in Angers. An emphatic strike from a man who was on target three times in pre-season. However, the Girondin had lost five of their six summer friendlies and Angers began to turn things around midway through the first half. An inch-perfect cross from Matthias Pereira-Large for Geoffrey Adelaide, and that was 1-1. Six minutes later, Angers were ahead. Summer signing Pereira-Large going in alone and making it an assist and a goal on his Ligue 1 Conferama debut. And the hosts weren't done there. On the stroke of half-time, Ren Adelaide slipping through for Thomas Mangani to round out a 3-1 win. Marseille endured a difficult first outing under André Villas-Boas as they were stunned by Reims at the Stade Velodrome. 22-year-old Boulay Dia, a trained electrician who only turned pro last year, showing an electric turn of pace before sweeping in Reims' first goal on 58 minutes. Well, Dia's fairy tale rise continues as he then went on to turn provider for Hyun Jun Suk late in the day after fine work here from Nathaniel Mbuku. The South Korean rounding out a champagne performance from the visitors, 2-0, the final score. Saint-Étienne kicked off their campaign with a win after making a blistering start against Dijon. Roman Hamuma scooping in one of the goals of the weekend after being teed up by Wabi Kazri on just five minutes. Delightful finish there over Alex Runnison. Summer signings Riyad Boudabouz and Jean-Oud Aholu then combined for Lever's second goal on 11 minutes. Dijon did get one back from the penalty spot after Mathieu de Bouchy handled the ball in the area. Home captain Julio Tavares maintaining his perfect record in Ligue 1 Conferama with the seventh successful spot kick, but Saint-Étienne held on to win 2-1. Victor Ozimen was the hero for Lille as they also made a winning start against Nantes. The Nigeria international showing a handy turn of pace before slipping in the opener and looking sharp after just five days of training. The Canaries have had a chaotic build-up to the season with coach Vaid Halehodzic leaving the club in early August, but they managed to equalise. Andre Girotto's shot taking a wicked deflection off Zeki Celik. Osimhen had the final word though, completing his brace to earn the three points. The club sold top scorer Nicola Pepe over the summer, but they could well have found a worthy successor in the 20-year-old. Amiens had already been reduced to 10 men by the time Nice took the lead on 32 minutes. Edin Johore sends off for two bookable offences before Christophe Herrell flicked in his very first league and Comparama goal. Summer signing Chadrach Akolo nearly rescued a point for Amiens after this remarkably composed finish in the 81st minute. The 10 men hoping to dream, but Nice captain Danta conjured up a 95th minute winner, sending the Allianz Riviera into raptures and snatching three vital points for his side. The contest between continental hopefuls Montpellier and Rennes went the way of the visitors. Jeremy Morel grabbing a debut goal for Rennes after his summer arrival from Lyon. The 35-year-old moving on to 10 goals in his 368th top-flight appearance. The Brittany club had another 35-year-old to thank for their narrow victory. Goalkeeper Roman Sala, who made a number of key saves, including stopping this penalty from Andy Delors. Brest are back in Ligue 1 Conferama after a six-year absence and they'll have been disappointed not to mark their return with victory over Toulouse. 
Stand-in captain Matthias Otre put them ahead on 25 minutes after a slick team move. But Gaetan Charbonnier, last year's top scorer in Domino's League 2, then missed a penalty 10 minutes from time. Toulouse snatching a point as Greek debutant Ephthymios Koulouris turned in his first league goal in the 89th minute. 1-1 it finished. It was also wall square in the Eastern derby with Strasbourg taking the lead on 21 minutes. Dimitri Liena arteing of Adrian Thomason, who needed 10 games to open his account last season and just won this term. But Mess equalised at the start of the second half as Oprah and get teed up Habib Diallo. The 24-year-old, who's just extended his contract after he hit 26 goals in League 2 last season, rescuing a 1-1 draw. So all the results from this first week with 26 goals scored. Wins for most of the big guns, including PSG, Lyon, Saint-Étienne and Lille. But Marseille and Monaco already losing ground, just the two draws in Brest and Strasbourg. Some familiar faces up at the top with Lyon and PSG leading the way. A couple of unfamiliar ones as well. Angers and Reims off to excellent starts after their wins over Bordeaux and Marseille. Metz, who needed six weeks to get their first points in the league two seasons ago, already off the mark after their draw in Strasbourg. Well, villas Boas's Marseille find themselves in the bottom three along with Nîmes and Monaco, but it is still, of course, early days. Lyon kick things off again on Friday as they entertain Angers, while Marseille will try to bounce back in Nantes. Lille and Monaco are in action on Saturday night before Saint-Étienne hosts Brest and Paris Saint-Germain travel to see their old friends Rennes in Brittany.